Hey, my name is Dana. I'm going to teach you how to overcome the woundings of your past so you can build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself. It's a self-exploration exercise. So if you're not prepared to engage in some deep self-exploration, this won't do anything for you. Um, this is meant for someone who is truly, truly interested in change in their life, truly interested in doing something different for their life. To do this exercise, we have to start in the past. What I need you to do is take your adult self and reach inside and grab that little inner child by the hand, okay? The broken, wounded inner child inside of you. Take that child by the hand. And I want you to astral project and take this child back to your childhood and hover over the dynamics of your family from an adult perspective, maybe for the first time ever, but from a, an adult perspective. And you explain to this wounded child that you're carrying around inside of you, you explain to this wounded child that any other soul born into any other body, by any other name, born to these people at this time, would have experienced a similar situation that you did. It wasn't personal at all. It was not personal. You just happened to be collateral damage in the lives of people who were out of control of themselves. It wasn't about you. It was about them. It wasn't about you. It was about them. It truly was. Their collateral damage came from their parents. And their parents, they were so out of control of themselves that they didn't know how to deal with their own bullshit. And they just simply handed you the garbage bag full of everything they couldn't deal with, that their parents couldn't deal with, that their parents before them and before them and before them and so on couldn't deal with. It was passed down from generation to generation in some form or fashion, and it landed in your lap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think you might have gotten a little bit off track because you see, you're trying to process all of this from a human understanding and you're not taking into consideration the spiritual aspect of things. Okay, The spiritual aspect of things says that you were in the right time at the right place with the right people, learning what it is that you needed to learn to make you stronger, to be able to do what you came here to do in the first place. And you can either view the damage of your childhood and let it eat you alive, or you can use it to fuel the fire in your soul to propel you forward in the journey of your best and highest good. Mm -hmm. You can duplicate it and perpetuate it on everyone else and spew the same vomit on everybody else. Or you can decide that this isn't your shit in the first place. It's not your stuff. It's not your baggage. It's not your baggage. It's their baggage. Collateral damage. They gave you their baggage. And you have been carrying it around with you as a part of your identity ever since. Mm -hmm. You didn't create that. You were born a blank slate. You didn't create that. It was created by someone else and given to you. And you have carried around something that is not yours your whole life. You've carried around self-doubt, low self-esteem, poor body image, a lack of self-confidence, maybe too much confidence. Maybe you're not everything your parents told you you are and you have an overinflated sense of self-worth. That happens. It does. It's called egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic kind of stuff. Perhaps you're not as great as you think you are. And that also goes back to your childhood. Mm -hmm. Anxiety, despair, depression, it all goes back to your childhood. 
In your formative years, when your little brain was being stitched together, the people that were supposed to, from a spiritual contract perspective, give you the tools that you need to be successful in this journey, they themselves were consumed by the flesh. They themselves had lost their soul way, and they themselves were acting on a limited human understanding. Mm -hmm. As were their parents, and their parents before them, and their parents before them. You have actually been chosen to break this cycle once and for all. And it's been going on since the beginning of time. If you're watching this video, it means that you're interested in changing the way that you're going about doing things. It means that you have a curiosity as to why you are who you are and what your life has become. Good or bad, it doesn't mean that your life has to be in the shitter for you to be watching this video. It simply means that you have a desire to grow and learn. I'm going to give you the roadmap to do it. I'm going to give you the roadmap to do it. So you take that child by the hand and you explain to them the dynamics from an adult perspective of what was going on in your household. The dynamics between you and your parents, your parents between each other, your parents to their parents, your parents to your siblings, your siblings to each other, the whole thing. Look at the dynamics. And you will see repeating patterns. You will see repeating patterns and repeating behaviors in all of the dynamics of your childhood. And what you're going to do is you're going to release that child. You're going to explain to that child that it wasn't their fault. It wasn't personal. And they were just simply collateral damage in a bad situation. And you're going to set them free. And when you do that, you will begin to emotionally grow and emotionally mature because that wounded child has been regulating your emotions ever since. The second you make it better is the second you begin to grow and mature emotionally. Now I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write the offending party's name across the top. Mom, dad, caregiver, uncle, aunt, grandma, grandpa, whatever happened to you in your childhood, okay? Write that offending person's name across the top of a piece of paper, big. And if you're still salty about it, scribble it. Scribble it on there. I'm going to draw a line down the middle of the paper. On the left-hand side of the paper, you're going to write everything good that this person has ever imparted into your life. And you might have to dig deep. But you need to find something good that this person imparted into your life, even if it's as superficial as taught me how to make badass brownies or taught me how to change a tire. Find something positive that this person has imparted into your life. On the right-hand side of the column, on the other side of the line, on the right-hand side of the column, you're going to write everything that this person gave you that doesn't belong to you. Get deep. Get serious about it. This is about self-exploration. This is about wanting to change, a desire to do something different. Get deep. Every wounding that this person has created in your life because of their handoff of the stuff they didn't want to deal with, write it down. Your self-doubt, your insecurities, your anxiety, your depression, your despair, your poor body image, your poor self-image, an over-inflated self-image, anger issues, codependency issues, independence issues, all of it. Write all of it down. Use multiple pieces of paper if you need to. When you're finished and you feel content with what you have written, no erasing. When you feel content with what you have written down, you tear this piece of paper in half along that line. The left-hand side, I want you to fold up into a teeny tiny little square and hide it somewhere in your house where you're not going to find it again one day until you pack up and move. 
the right hand side of the paper, I want you to tear it into a bazillion pieces. Destroy this side of the paper. And as you are tearing it up, you give it back. You give back all of the bullshit that this person could not handle themselves, that they vomited onto you because it does not belong to you. It's not part of your identity. It was created for you and not by you. You give all of that back, that low vibrational manifestation, give it back. Tear it into a bazillion pieces, flush it down the toilet, throw it in the trash, burn it under a full moon, mail it back to them. Whatever makes you feel good about the situation, do it. Give it all back. And what this does in your subconscious mind is it creates space that has been occupied by things that don't even belong to you. Free up that space. Free up your subconscious mind to be able to build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself because what you think about comes about. Your life becomes what it is you think about in your subconscious mind. And if you want something different from life, something different than what you've gotten so far, it's time to make some room so you can pour in what it is you want, who it is you want to be, and what it is you want your future to look like instead of reliving constantly over and over again the woundings from the past. It doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. Give it back. Create space in your mind to begin to create the future that you want to have. Mm -hmm. Just like that. But you got to want it. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. If you want it, this will help you to close out wounded cycles of your past and help you to not repeat the same cycles in your future. Namaste.